Hey, this is Asha and welcome to another inside view here at BSI or Backstage Income. And I just want to take a look at today at setting up a ticketing system. So I've looked at a few different uh, plans and really the whole point behind a ticketing system is, you know, when you get a lot of email like I do here and you're running a lot of uh, websites, so let's say you're running a ton of different websites, um, you're running a couple of different businesses rather than cluttering your email like here as you can see there's a lot of email that's coming in and questions and some of these questions are just very basic uh questions it's not that they're bad questions it's just people either can't find it on your website maybe they're struggled with it maybe they're looking in the wrong spot so you need to kind of guide them uh, what to do it might be a question about refunds it might be a question about uh, your customer support your service you, whatever the case is there's a bunch of questions that come in and they might be easy to answer but the problem is is to get the time to answer those and have the support um, takes a bit of time. So it's always nice if you have another teammate or team member that can handle those. But unfortunately, to do that all within the inbox, it starts to clutter it. So what I did with Google in the past uh, was really set up uh, kind of like uh, labels or tickets and those kinds of things. And when I did that, uh, that allowed me to kind of um, organize those things for the different websites that I run. It might be for backstage income. This this website it might be for Traders Fly, which is our investing one right here. And we get a lot of questions here. Let's say on the contact form. So people will fill this contact form out, um, and then that'll come into my email. Then I have to answer it, or somebody logs into my email and answers it for me. But that can be a little bit more of a pain. So that's why I'm looking for a ticketing system. And I've looked at a handful. The one I'm deciding to go with is Teamwork. Uh, they're all pretty good. Uh, there's Fresh Desk here. There's also Groove HQ. I'll link all these in the description. Uh, there's Help Scout and Help Crunch. The closest one that I really liked was uh, Help Scout. But the problem is, is if you have a lot of mailboxes, you have to hop onto this plan, which $32 per user starts to get expensive. Whereas when you look at Teamwork, uh, let me see if I could uh, pop up another window here for you. When we look at uh, Teamwork uh, Desk here, you can see it's, it's basically $7 a person, uh, which is not bad. That's annual. If you do monthly, it's about $8.75. Um, you know, and you get kind of uh, 10 agents, which is more than you kind of need for a small team, but you get unlimited inboxes. And that's kind of the goal for me is that, hey, if you got 10, 20 websites, but then you got, you know, five people managing the customer support, that's what's really important because um, I know there's a lot of startups that are trying different uh, things, and, you know, different websites, seeing what works, what doesn't and support things come in. So how do you go about integrating this? Uh, basically what they do is, I've already integrated one mailbox, but you create kind of smart mailboxes. So I've created one mailbox here and I'm still playing with it, but basically uh, if you go here and you go to, let's say here, the inboxes, new smart inboxes. So you can see here's all the inboxes that you have and you can configure all of these uh, based on the aliases, based on where you want to forward it to. Uh, but in either case, you create a mailbox, and anytime you create a mailbox from here, it forwards it into that. So it comes into your in inbox. So I'll go ahead and add uh, one in there. So let's say our team inbox is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this at, let's say, hello. Um, this will be the trader's fly. Uh, website so we'll do kind of hello at tradersfly.com and we'll click next I'm gonna go ahead and hide these details just real quick briefly uh, because uh, otherwise they're gonna give you kind of a, a code here so uh, they'll go ahead and give me a little code to forward things to I'm gonna go ahead and copy that okay so let me see if I can kind of hide this right here so you copy this code and once you copy this code we'll go ahead and go in and set up kind of our mailbox so I'll go ahead and uh, add this you go to the kind of the settings and let's say you add a forwarding uh, pop email account so I'll go ahead and uh, add a forwarding address We'll block this out as well. So after I forward this right here, okay, so proceed, we'll go ahead. So now a confirmation code has been sent there, okay. 
So once that confirmation code is sent right here, we'll go ahead and check this inbox. So I can go to my dashboard and I'll see, okay, well, here's a confirmation code right here. I'll go ahead and verify this confirmation code. Okay, so now that I have this confirmation code, I wanna go ahead and put this back and verify on my email. Okay, so we got that now verified. So now what we wanna do is we wanna create a filter. So we're gonna create a filter. So anything to, and I'll say to my email here, hello at tradersfly.com. And then we'll create a filter, anything there, we'll skip the inbox, mark as red. Uh, I'll apply the label, it's gonna to go to the Traders Fly, and we're gonna forward it to that mailbox. So now, basically, anything that comes into that email address is gonna get forwarded right into uh, this kind of inbox right here. So you basically have, if you go to the dashboard, I got now two inboxes, and right here you can see here's one inbox, here's the Rise to Learn inbox, so I could have like 10, 15 websites here. And you might say, well, why don't you go ahead and just use kind of a Gmail account and keep splitting it? Well, as you saw, it gets kind of busy. The other tools you could use is other mailing programs, but again, sharing that and having a, another person answering your tickets uh, becomes a little more problematic. So uh, I went ahead and did the setup. Now, for me, I also need to go ahead and set that uh, email address up kind of in my... Um, my mailing account as well in Google Suite. And uh, I'll go ahead and do that here real quick. All right, so that's all set now. I went ahead and did that. So basically now what's gonna happen is, let me just go ahead and send a quick email uh, from one place to another. So I'm gonna go ahead and just write, hey, this is a quick test. I have a question about this so I went ahead and sent it off uh, so it usually takes a minute or two because remember there's a, there's a couple of forwarding things now um, that have to happen now when you click this there's a handful of things you can do you, there's shortcuts you can just hit the D key for the delete and boom then it's gone um, and then as you go here okay and you start looking at your inboxes you can kind of see now breakdown on hey what's yours what's on hold what's unsigned what's waiting and uh, what's spam. So I'll go ahead and let me see. There you go. You can kind of see the inboxes there. So you can see there's a rise to learn, there's a trader's fly. So all of these things kind of uh, work hand in hand. So I went ahead and refreshed it. So you can see there's one that came in. There's the trader's fly. So you can see as I zoom in, here's a quick test and you can see it came in right there um, and there's a quick ticket and I can go ahead and just reply right back and it kind of goes right back into the the person or in this case it would just go back to me so this is all set up uh so you can see here i do have an error here um so i need to go ahead and adjust some um some permissions here your permissions may have changed it continues try logging back out uh, but other than that there's you know it's pretty seamless and quick integration so that's how i went about uh setting up kind of my my mailbox here and uh, now we can have kind of uh, a sharing of customer support tickets where I can have a couple of different uh, people that help me out on the website uh, go ahead and answer some of those support requests. So anyways, uh, thank you so much for joining me here in this video. Be sure to go ahead and sign up to our newsletter list if you're not on it already. So that way you get notified as I release new videos, uh, books, courses, products, and other good stuff. And if you want to get a list of uh, these tools that I have available, check out backstageincome.com slash the resources page or check the description here, but definitely on our website, you'll have a huge list along with other great PDFs that show you some of the tools and resources that I personally use. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.